exactly what I'm talking to you for. What the fuck else do I gotta talk to you about? So I asked you, what's the problem? Down below. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, hi, what's up? My name is Asia. So today, you read the title. We're gonna be doing a little messy story time. And I'm gonna do my makeup while zooted, bitch. This video was inspired by my baby, Pretty Maniac. I'm gonna link her video down below so you can check that out. But finish this one first and then go to watch that one, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do this off camera and then I'm gonna come back in like 10 minutes. I'm not gonna do too much though. <coughs> All right, that's my sign to stop. All right, so I'm gonna wait it out for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna be right back. Y'all ain't gonna care. I think I did a little too much. Y'all, I'm fucking. Fuck. All right, so I'm gonna start by telling y'all a story. And don't worry, I'm gonna fix my hair at the end. So bitch, don't say shit. So I kind of told this story before, but it, it was so many other things that happened in between. It's like, I couldn't fit it all in one video. I'm gonna tell y'all about a time where I had to pull up to a bitch job. Yes. I had to pull up to a bitch job and I'm going to tell y'all why. So I used to work at Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> I used to work at Buffalo Wild Wings, right? I was a line cook. And there was this girl that was that started working there like two months after me. And I was like, oh, she cute or whatever. But I wasn't the type to like approach people first because bitch, I was a scary ass bitch. And I really wasn't that confident back then. Like I was starting to get into my confidence, but it, it wasn't quite there yet. So I was scared to approach her. So I did what any other scary bitch would do. And I had one of my other coworkers ask her if she had a girlfriend, right? My coworker tries asking her for like three days in a row and she just would not answer the question. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. Let me ask her myself because maybe she'll answer me and not him. So I asked her, I was like, do you have a girl? I forgot what she said, but it wasn't the answer to the question. I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe she has a girlfriend, so I'm gonna fall back, okay? Remember that. Anyway, fast forward to my birthday, right? This is two months later. Fast forward to my birthday. I finally built up the courage to ask her to add me on Snapchat. Yeah, Snapchat was the thing back then, okay? So I had her add me on Snapchat, and that was the start of everything. Me asking her for that, snap, that Snapchat, I sealed my fate at that part. I get home later that night. This is the day before my birthday, right? So I get home later that night. The clock strikes 12. So you know what that means. It's a bitch birthday, right? So I post on Snapchat. I'm like, it's happy birthday to me. And she responds with happy birthday. And that's where shit just went downhill from that moment on. I don't even know how, y'all. But after that, all I remember is the conversation going from innocent to not so innocent. It went from PG-13 to rated R. I don't even know how we got to that point. Like I genuinely do not know how we got to that point. But we were talking like that for some time now, right? One day, okay, at this time, she had already told me she had a girlfriend and she showed me her picture and everything. So I'm thinking, okay, we just friends, but she will also come to me when they will fall off and make it seem like, oh, they wasn't messing with each other like that. They not official or whatever, you feel me? You know, bitches that wanna cheat, that's what they gonna say. Oh, we ain't even together for real, or it's not even like that, or we argue too much. Like, girl, bye. You just wanna cheat. But anyway, so I'm over here thinking, okay, well, since she talking like this, maybe they not together no more. So, bitch, I went along with it. And that's where I fucked up that. You know, I'm telling you things is getting little spicy and snapchat messages so one day she writes me on snapchat and she was talking about how she liked petite women so she could flip them around in the bedroom and shit that was the last message she sent me i had responded to the message that she she sent me and i realized that shit said pending instead of delivered and that was when i knew the bitch blocked me right so we had worked together the next day and when i tell you neither one of us said a word to each other it was like we no longer knew each other after that. Like we would walk past each other. We would not look at each other. It was like 
we were invisible to each other type shit after that. So remember when I said I was working in the kitchen and she was in the front as a host. Tell me why the girl convinced the managers to let her work in the kitchen. So whole time this girl planned on coming back into the kitchen and the, the station we had with each other was right next to each other. That means me and her would literally have to team up and work together and talk and all that. So when I found that out, I was like, oh, it's about to get real messy. And that's exactly what happened. I felt like I'm the type of person, like I'm not about to be working my job uncomfortably. Like you're not about to make me uncomfortable at my own job that I have to be at damn near every day because you wanted to take a position next to me. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be the bigger person and I'm gonna talk to her. So I walked up to her and I was like, you know we're gonna have to work together, right? And then that's how it all started with us being back cool. And that's when she told me that it was her, her girlfriend that blocked me on Snapchat because she saw they were together and this bitch was so stupid. So what happened was her and her girlfriend were together, right? They went to this yogurt spot. She was with her girlfriend while she was texting me on Snapchat. And I'm the type of person, I save all of my Snapchat messages. It's just a habit. That's just what I do. Like every time I send a message or you send a message, I'm saving it in the chat. And one day she did tell me to delete, like to unsave the messages. And I said, no, bitch, <sighs> listen. So I'm going to give the girl from Buffalo Wild Wings. Her name is going to be Short Stack, right? And then the girl that is her girlfriend, we gonna call her, we gonna call her Flapjack, right? Flatback and Short Stack, they are literally at <laughs> the yogurt spot. And Short Stack is texting me while she's with her girlfriend, like a dumbass bitch. Just after she sent me her last message, I don't know what happened. I guess her girlfriend was um, hearing all the notifications from the Snapchat, so she was trying to figure out like, why the fuck is your phone going off so much? So she asked Short Stack to hand her her phone. Short Stack gives her the phone and lo and behold, Flapjack reads all the messages between me and Short Stack. She ended up going off on Short Stack at the yogurt spot. She blocked me on Short Stack Snapchat. So I was like, really? Like that's what happened? Around this time, right, I didn't even have no problems with her girlfriend. Like, I didn't know the girl. I wasn't beefing with her. I wasn't talking shit about her. Because Short Stag would come to me telling me all the tea about this girl. Like, all the tea. But I still never, like, formed any opinions on her because I didn't care enough to do so. So, <laughs> when Short Stag was telling me the story, I was just sitting there thinking, like, wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. But then she said this one thing. She said, when Flapjack was going off on her at the Yo Lickety Spot, she said the words, she better not talk to you or I'm going to come up to that job. I was like, I know you fucking lying, bitch. <laughs> come up to that job and do what? Come up to the job and do what? I was like, oh, it's like that now. All right. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, is that a threat? Like, is Shorty threatening me? Like, what's going on here? Put me on. So I was just looking. I was like, oh, dumb bitch. So I'm like, oh, okay, so it's smoke, basically. So me and Shorty have smoke. All right. Good to know. So you would think things would end after the whole yo lickety argument and whatnot. But no. Oh, it didn't end there. It got worse. Short Stack was literally with me on almost every single shift I was working. Like me and Short Stack will have the most sexual tension I have ever felt in my life. Things went from like just looking and like the vibe and the tension to getting touchy feely. Bitch, when I tell you this girl was touching and hugging all up on me? And this is when, this was after her girl already blocked me and threatened us and everything and she Still with the shit. This bitch wasn't shit. One day, I came to work. At first, me and her was working together and it was cool. We were talking, everything was great. We were, everything was cool, right? And then why, at the beginning of my shift, I look out and I see Flapjack walking her slinky ass into the door. And after she made her way into the restaurant, 
you can cut the fucking tension with a knife. It was bad. <sighs> Cause in my mind, I'm just thinking like, this is the same bitch that threatened that she wanted to fight. And now we here at the same place at the same time. So I ain't clocked in yet. So what's, what's going on? What you trying to do? Let me, let me know. Slapjack sits at a table and her table is facing the kitchen and the kitchen has like a little mirror on the door. So tell me why I'm sitting in the kitchen and I'm just the type of person, if I don't like you, I can't control my face. I'm sorry. So I look out and I'm, I see her and tell me why I'm literally just staring at her through the freaking window, just staring. And she, at first she had her head down and then she lifted her head up and we made eye contact and I did not look away, y'all. I was just staring. And I was like stretching. <laughs> I was like stretching and shit while I was staring at her. And she just put her head back down. So I'm like, okay. She don't want smoke. And I'm the type of person, I'm just like, bro. You're not trying to fight. I'm not about to keep going. You feel me? Like, I'm just going to leave it where it's at. So after that, I let it go. I was on the phone with my cousin. Because I haven't started my shift yet. And... When I was on the phone with her, we had the door from the kitchen. It's like a little swinging door. So you can open it from both sides. So I was on the phone. And this is what I always do, y'all. I always do this. I kicked the door open and I walked out of it. And apparently, according to Short Stack, Flapjack had a problem with that. And she thought, she thought it was issues at that point with me. But I would have never known because the bitch didn't say shit. She didn't even make it hot. Nothing. She didn't say shit at all. So... Whatever the next shift was, me and um, Short Stack were talking. And then Short Stack decided to bring up the day where I clicked the door open. And she told me that her girlfriend said, and I quote, Oh, so does she have a problem too? Because I already have on fighting clothes. Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's are dumb. You, excuse me, bitch? Hold on. And that's what blew me. That's what blew me. Because I'm like, girl, you sat there for like a good four hours. You never said a word to me. You barely looked at me. So why, if you felt some type of way, you already threatened me one time. So why threaten and say, you already got your fighting clothes on if I have a problem? Why you ain't asked me that? Why you ain't said that to me? And then you must have whispered it because I was out there the whole time and I didn't hear you say not a damn thing. Why are you threatening me again while we're in the same facility? Mind you, I'm the bitch that your girlfriend was folding on you for. I'm the bitch that you already threatened to come up to the job the first time. I'm the bitch that you don't like, but yet we end up face to face and you don't do nothing. You threaten me again silently. Okay. So after short stack told me that I was thinking to myself, I didn't even think I said it. I said, well, if I would have known that I would have just asked her what's up. Like, <laughs> bitch, I didn't think you want to smoke like that. Nothing came up out of it. Like me and Short Stack had an argument. I think it was the same day. And then after that, I had got another job and I ended up quitting Buffalo Wild Wings. That was like, I thought that was gonna be the end of everything, but no, it wasn't. Basically that was just the beginning of it all. So now I had quit Buffalo Wild Wings. I lived in Charlotte. So while we was in Charlotte, me and Flapjack did have an argument. Prior to this, I had sent her receipts to prove to her that her girl was the one that came on to me because we started arguing through the Instagram DMs. So I hit her with the receipts because she was telling me that Short Stack was saying I was the one that's coming on to her and that I was obsessed and all this stuff. So I was like, wow, Short Stack? It's like that because that's not, that's not facts. That's not what happened. And you know that's not what happened. So why are you lying? After I quit, Flapjack ended up getting the same job at Buffalo Wings when I left. So Flapjack was in there trying to get all the, the gossip and the tea that she can get. And of course, the people at Buffalo Wild Wings was lying, trying to make it seem like it was me that was coming on the short side. Like, first of all, bitch, never that. Never that. Because yeah, I asked her if she had a girlfriend, but after that, when she didn't answer me, I was off her. Your bitch came to me. Your bitch was asking me out, okay? So don't do that. And you've seen the Snapchat messages. So my whole thing is, if you've seen the Snapchat messages, then why are you that dumb? I just feel like she was that dumb because she didn't want... I think she just didn't want to believe that Flapjack, I mean, Short, Short Stack was doing what she was doing. So I was a liar. And I was the one that everybody made it seem like it was all my fault. So after that, I was pressed. So yeah, I sent her the screenshots and I was like, so whose fault really is it? And she said, okay, thanks. And that was the end of that.
or so I thought. That was the first argument we had through the Instagram fans when I sent her the screenshots. The second one was through Twitter and she was talking all this hot stuff and I was like, you know what? I'm out of touch down in Rochester next month. So what's up? Cause bitch, at this point it's two years later and you're doing too much. She was like, oh, I'm not gonna fight you. You're not worth my time. If I'm not worth your time to fight, why have you been arguing with me for two days now? Make it make sense. I said, I was like, all right. So me and her went back and forth a little bit and I'm just like, bitch, bitch, I don't give a fuck what you gotta say. I would say what I have to say. And then when I see her typing, I would block her. And then when I have some more to say, I would unblock her and I would continue to talk my shit. So eventually at the end, I just blocked her. Cause I really didn't care much because she thought she was going in. She didn't eat at all. She didn't eat at all. Cause at the end of the day, it's like, girl, you look dumb as hell. <laughs> so anyway, that's what happened in Charlotte. Then boom, I get to Rochester, right? I go into Red Robin, which was their new job. Mind you, Red Robin is in the mall. It's inside of the mall. So I went into Red Robin to eat with my cousins. Hold on, behold, Flapjack and Short Stack both work there. So I was ignoring it. I sat at the table, had this nice little waiter, and like I had told the waitress, I was like, oh, I, was, I applied to this job before, but I couldn't take it because I got a new job. And she was like, oh my God, you should apply again. We need people. You're pretty. You should work here. And I was just like, ma'am, I said nothing about applying to this job. But y'all, this was COVID time, and like I actually did need a job. So I was like, you know what? Let me just apply. Who kid it hurt? You feel me? I applied to the job, right? And at first, the uh, manager was acting like, oh, he gonna give me the job. Like, he gave me, um, basically trying to give me the job on the spot. But then this waitress, this other waitress, he ended up calling me on Snapchat. And he was like, oh, just to let you know, you're not gonna get the job because of flat back and short stack. And I was like, can I? Yeah, a, a bitch. You mean to tell me that these bitches stopped me from getting a job? Bitch, it was war from then on. Because, like I said, this was COVID time. Hold on, let me finish my makeup. I'm doing too much. When I found out I did not get the job because of them, girl, I had ended up, mind you, I was already at the mall when I was told this. So I had walked up to the job and I had met the manager at the door. He saw me coming because the girl is a, a host and she was there that day. So I'm walking up to the door. And then the manager like opens the door so that I wouldn't get in. I was like, so why can't I get the job? Like he was like, oh, um, we just filled up the kitchen position. So we don't need any more people, which was a fucking lie, by the way. So I was like, and he could tell I was pissed off. Yeah, <laughs> I can't hide my facial expression for nothing. So he knew I was pissed off. So I was like, because I knew the real reason that's why I didn't get that job. I was like, okay. But then he had me apply for the kitchen. So after telling me I couldn't get it, he called me again and told me to come in for the kitchen. And mind you, short stack works in the kitchen. Flat back works up front. I applied to work up front, but the manager decided to make me apply for the kitchen. Um, they called me in for the interview. Basically asked me, okay, when can you start? He was telling me what type of schedule I'm gonna be looking for, forward to and all this other stuff. Like I got the job. So I was like, all right, cool. So then one day, lo and behold, I'm at the mall again, just shopping with my friend. I get a phone call from the manager and he was like, so I'm sorry, but we decided to not move forward with you for the job. And y'all at this point, I'm pissed. Cause I'm like, bro, you are the one that told me to come in and apply for the other position. You told me that. So why would you call me and tell me I can't get the job? Y'all decided not to go forward with me. So I'm on the phone and I'm like, why not? I mean, you told me to apply for the kitchen, so why can't I get the job? And this nigga says, it's because of flapjack and short stack. I know you fucking lying, bitch. Bitch, oh my God. When I tell you, I went from zero to a thousand in that mall. I'm yelling, I'm like, well, I don't understand why they stopping me from getting a job. Y'all don't want to have me apply to the job. I'm not even thinking about them girls. And he was like, well, no, it's not that. I just heard about what happened and you're the one that brought it up. I'm like, first of all, I'm not the one that brought nothing up to you. Cause I didn't tell you nothing. Why would I stay here and tell a manager about drama that I'm having with his coworkers? So I'm not the one that brought that up. Don't do that. At this point, it was war. I was like, you know what? I could come up to the job because I'm at the mall. And he was like, no, no, that's not necessary. That's not necessary. I'll talk to them. Don't worry about it. So I'm like, all right. 
All right. So he said he's going to talk to them to see how they feel about me working there. So I'm like, okay. I'm automatically pissed off because, like I said, this was during COVID. Now, and then secondly, bitch, don't fuck with my money because now you're taking money out of my pocket. And I don't like that. That was like the main reason I was mad is the fact that she was stopping me from getting money. So I was like, I was with my friend and I told her, I was like, we need to pull up to Red Robin. We need to pull up to Red Robin. We pulled up there, y'all. I go through the door and I see her at the, the little host stand. So I'm coming in. Tell me why as I'm coming in, this girl walks away from this host stand. She walks away from the host stand. I'm standing there for mad long. Like, hello? I'm looking for her. This girl is nowhere in sight. This girl never came back to the host stand. So I'm like, all right, you know what? My friend was like, okay, it's not worth it. So we, we leave. And I, I, I say, forget about it. I lied. No, I didn't. I DM the bitch on Instagram because I'm like, at this point, I'm just mad. And I'm the same person. I could take an L with a job. I don't care. But bitch, if it's me versus you and you think you're winning by stopping me from getting this job, oh, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you how I could be real conniving and real sneaky, right? I end up DMing a girl on Instagram after they were telling me that I couldn't get the job and I pulled up to the job because I really wanted to be her ass. That's what I really pulled up for. I'm not going to lie. I DM her on Instagram and I was like, what's the problem? And she responds and she's like, what are you talking about? Oh, dumb bitch. You, bitch, don't act dumb. Cause you know exactly what I'm talking to you for. What the fuck else do I gotta talk to you about? So I asked you, what's the problem? Because it's been two and a half years, two and a half years since this whole situation went down. So why are you still this press? And not only do you think you look better than me, which is false, it, it really was. Not only do you think you look better than me, but you think I'm not somebody to be worried about because you think you all set, all A1, all set with your girlfriend. Then why are you so pressed and so worried about me getting the same job and working with her again? Me and her ended up talking in the DMs and we ended up apologizing because I finessed. And guess what? She ended up telling the manager to get me the job. So I started working there. <laughs> I started working there and I was working with her girlfriend. And y'all, let me tell y'all. Flapjack was pressed the whole time. She was so pressed. Like, and then it was days where Flapjack wouldn't even be there. And guess what? The freaking manager, the manager had short stack training me. So it's like, you knew the situation. You knew that me and Flapjack had issues because of this bitch. And you knew she didn't want me to get the job at first because of this bitch. So why would you have me training with her girlfriend? Why would you have me training with short stack? You're messy, bro. The manager was so messy throughout this entire time. There were days where Flapjack wouldn't be there and short stack would be training me and we would be talking, it would be cool, we'd be vibing. And then the days where Flapjack was there, it was awkward, it was tension. There were days where Flapjack would try to talk to me and try to be cool. And I was just like, okay, I'm gonna put this in the past, whatever. Like, but it was some other drama that was going on with this other girl from Florida with involving all three of us. So stuff like that was going on too but whatever me and these people was really beefing for real like this shit dragged for mad long they ended up putting their two weeks notice in and they left the job and tell me why after they left the job tell me why flapjack ended up getting on short stacks facebook and going back and forth with me on the facebook after they left the job i'm like shorty if you i knew you had hidden animosity like if you always had a problem why fake like you wanted to be cool and cordial with me at work and now that you don't work there no more you left you want to talk shit over Facebook. Make it make sense. And she was like, oh, no, it's no problem. It's no problem with you. Y'all just not going to be friends. And I'm, at this point, I'm like, girl, you're pathetic. You're worried about the wrong shit. Like, you really are. But at this point, it is what it is. Because this bitch is really not even that cute. And really not even that, all that nothing to be stressing over, to be honest with you. So, or arguing over it. Like, this is not my bitch. Why, would I argue, why am I arguing with you about your bitch? This ain't my bitch. I don't care. Oh, after that, I just let it go. And that was the end of that. Me and this girl never fought, unfortunately. I don't know what they're doing now, but I do know that uh, Flapjack blocked me again on Facebook. She blocked me again on Facebook recently, like this month recent or the end of last month recent. And I'm just like, girl, there's no way that you're this pressed. There's no way that you're this pressed that you got to just keep doing something every couple years. It makes no sense. That was basically the whole story time, y'all. Nothing else happened after that. And yeah, nothing else is going to happen after that because I don't want these bitches. But that is when I had to pull up to a bitch job. <laughs> and I'm about to finish my makeup and come back. Hold on. 
all right y'all so i'm done with my makeup which means that is the end of this video if you guys enjoyed if you want more videos like this leave a comment down below and hit the thumbs up button so i know that y'all like it and yeah stay tuned to more videos so I'll follow all my social medias link down below and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video bye One, two, three, let's go